Obviously, things continued being pretty divisive, since the king and his supporters didn't like normal people having more power. The members would divvy up on each side of the assembly's president accordingly. Conservative supporters of the king would be placed on the president's right-hand side, a right wing, and revolutionary supporters looking to change the status quo and give more power to the people would be placed on his left-hand side, a left wing. Now, I don't know whether we have this same right-hand, left-hand bias consciously caused by the assembly's president. The first president, Jacques Guillain Thoré, I hope I'm saying that wrong, did personally advocate heavily secularizing the church's property, so he certainly wasn't abiding by the status quo. However, he would later get guillotined during the Reign of Terror. So presumably, there was at least some disagreement with the revolutionaries. The French Revolution gets messy that way, both in political ideologies and in neck blood. 